your nearest Captain D's just came up with the best reason to chicken out. It's the Captain's Monday and Tuesday Super Value Chicken Dinner. You get a generous portion of golden fried chicken fillets, crisp french fries, fresh creamy coleslaw, two southern style hush puppies, and the Captain's own sweet and sour sauce. And all at a special price of only $2.59. The Monday and Tuesday Super Value Chicken Dinner, only at Captain D's. Captain D's, a great little seafood place. Today we are in Withville, Virginia, and we are sitting in front of Captain D's. And the reason we're not standing outside, it's pretty daggone windy out there today. Yeah, we are afraid we're going to get blown away. It's so windy. Now, Captain D's started in 1969. They were called Mr. D's Seafood and Hamburgers. Started in Donaldson, Tennessee in 1975. They switched over to Captain D's. Now, there are 500 of these in the United States but none where we live. Now, in the early 90s, we did have two in our area. I think one's a Burger King now. Yeah, closed them both down, and we loved Captain D's. So the reason we came here today is we were passing through. We saw on TV they had these lobster rolls. Now, these came out probably about six weeks ago, and we never thought we'd get a chance to try them. We forgot about mm -hmm. driving by this place, so we're going to swing in here real quick, get some lobster rolls, maybe get something else, and show you the menu. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Well, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Quick look at the menu here at Captain D's. You can get some mozzarella sticks if you want a batter dipped fish. One piece is $3.19. Chicken tenders, have some jalapeno poppers, butterfly shrimp, and hush puppies. Here are your drinks, and they serve Pepsi products, but you could take home a gallon of Captain D's sweet tea for $5.99. Now, if you don't want your fish battered, they have four choices of grilled shrimp. You can either get it original, blackened, or lemon pepper. And if you want a full meal, they have some choices for that. You can get a two-piece batter dip fish for $8.49 or get this Supreme Sampler for $13.49. In the top right is the most popular menu item they have on the meals. The deluxe seafood platter, $13.49. It's the only way you can get the crab in those soft shells. And they have a couple different fish sandwiches. The desserts are funnel cake sticks. And they have a cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Family platters up in the right and kids meals. While we're sitting here by this door, I don't know if you guys can hear that wind, but it's really howling. <laughs> kind of scary listening to it. But I want you to notice how nice and clean this restaurant is. For fast food, isn't it? It is, and it's very well themed. All right, guys, let's take a look at our food. There are the lobster rolls. Two lobster rolls for $4.99. 
You cannot go wrong with that. Some lobster bisque and a seafood platter with some crab, shrimp, fish, green beans, and a baked potato. Let's just take a close look at these lobster rolls because they're supposed to be North Atlantic lobster, real lobster meat, not imitation. A little bit of lettuce in there with it. All right, guys, let's get into this. Let's try this lobster bisque with real lobster meat in it. That looks pretty good. A lot of lobster meat in there. All right, that soup is hot and very creamy, but it is just loaded with bits of lobster in there. A nice sweet flavor to it. I mean, look at that. Let's go one more bite with that. That's definitely worth $3.99. You could get a bowl of it too, but this is a pretty good deal with the lobster rolls. I'm gonna try that. Lobster rolls, Bobby, for five bucks for two of them. Can you believe that? Nice little crispy roll that they're in. Almost looks like a breadstick cut in half to me. A little crisp on the outside. Let's go right here with it. So for $2.50 a piece, it's pretty good. Bread's nice and soft on the inside. Some little bit of lettuce in there. Now I can taste a little bit of lobster in there. It says it's real lobster meat, but I'm sure a lot of it's imitation crab too. Kind of what it reminds me of, but it's still very tasty. Let's just go one more bite of this. That second bite's just as good as the first. Not a lot of mayonnaise in here. I know a lot of times they make lobster rolls, they make it with mayonnaise and celery. The bun almost has a buttery flavor to it. It's very good. So I do like these. Now for five bucks, I definitely would get these again. The bad thing about that is they're going away. They're going off the menu. So I don't know how much longer they're going to be available. So if you have a Captain D's around you, get out and get one of these. I wish we could have got one when they first came out about six weeks ago. Like I said before in the beginning, we don't have any around us. All right, John was nice enough to share one of his lobster rolls with me. Maybe I'll give you guys a bite. You get the first bite. Well, John, I'm gonna agree with you. There's not a lot of mayonnaise in it, so you taste the, the lobster or the imitation lobster, I'm not sure which it is. Says it's real. I'm gonna believe them. And I also agree with you that it does remind me of a breadstick. I like those. I mean, $5 for two, it's a pretty good deal. My plate came with uh, two pieces of the fish, hush puppies, and the shrimp, but I gave John the uh, crab cakes. I'm not a fan of those. So I got two nice pieces of fish. So it's got a nice, light, crispy coating on it. Inside, it's nice and flaky. It just has a mild flavor to it. It's not over fishy or anything. There's some shrimp. I think they did a nice job on these. They're not overdone. So it's got a nice flavor with the crust on it. Nice and warm. Here's one of my favorite, the Hush Puppies. Got the nice breading in it. Like I said about the others, they're not overdone. So I was really excited about trying these because they have a little bit of ham in them. So with adding the ham, it gives it a better flavor. It just doesn't taste like it out of a can. It just kind of tastes like they've been cooked all day, even though I know they're not. It gives it a better flavor. There's my baked potato. Um, they gave me butter and sour cream. It looks nice and soft and warm. All right, let's try the stuffed crab. Yeah, look, got some imitation crab meat in here. Let's just try this piece. See it in there? Now, I know maybe on the outside you guys might think it's overdone, but it doesn't taste like that. Nice crispiness to it. So, imitation crab meat. Now, for imitation crab meat, it's got a nice flavor. Now, the fish they serve here is this pollock. This is what they use in imitation crab meat, so I guarantee you some of this fish is in that, but let me just try it. That's nice and crispy, and if you guys don't like a fishy fish, if that makes sense to you, this is what you want to get, pollock. This tastes a little different cod. It's probably the closest thing that's going to come to it. Nice crunch. Butterfly shrimp. Nice flavor to the butterfly shrimp, and this stuff isn't overly greasy. 
I mean, it has some grease on it, but sometimes you go to these fast food places with the fish, like Long John Silver's, it is greasy as can be. This doesn't have that kind of a flavor to it. Let's look at our receipt here at Captain D's, our deluxe seafood platter, $13.49. Bobby upgraded to a baked potato for 89 cents more. The two lobster rolls, $4.99. The lobster bisque, just got the regular one for $3.99, a grand total. Twenty-six, twenty-three. Well, we just left Captain D's after having lunch. Now, before we go on, do you know what the D stands for in Captain D's, Bobby? I'm going to say Captain Dan. That's a good guess. It stands for Danner. The guy who started this company, his name was Ray Danner. Useless <laughs> trivia for you, but just in case you wanted to know, I thought we'd tell you. All right, Bobby, what did you think about your meal in there? First, I want to say this is one of the cleanest fast food restaurants we've been into. I wanted to give a shout out to the lady that took our order. She brought the food out to us and she picked up the trash. You don't usually see that in fast food. Um, I liked what I got. The fish was nice. Like I said, it was mild. It wasn't a real fishy flavor. I love the hush puppies. I like how they added the ham into the green beans to give it a different flavor. And those lobster rolls you had, two for $5. Those were very good. Unfortunately, those are coming off the I menu. Know, that's sad. Just now trying them and they're leaving the menu. Now, the uh, crab cake shell, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't eat those. I know I like all kinds of seafood. I gave mine to John, but I thought they looked a little overdone. I guess on the outside, they looked a little bit like that, but when you tried them, they didn't taste bad. That's imitation crab meat. There's not a lot in there, but they are very good. That's something different mm -hmm. to have on the menu. That's, uh, I think Captain D's does that, but Long John Silver's does not do that. The lobster rolls was the main reason we wanted to stop here because we love lobster. Now, it says that is real North Atlantic lobster. Hard to believe they could put that mm -hmm. much on there. Now, it tasted a little bit like uh, imitation crab meat, but you could taste some of that lobster meat in there. They were very good, no matter mm -hmm. what was in them. They were nice and sweet. Yeah, too. nice and sweet. There wasn't a lot of mayonnaise in there. It was mainly the meat itself. So I did like those. And that bun or breadstick cut in half, whatever you want to call that, mm -hmm. was very good. Bobby's meal, I tried everything that was on that. I enjoyed it. That's like $13.59. I wish we had a Captain D's back home, but I would get those lobster rolls again, or maybe every time I came to Captain D's, but they're going away, guys. And almost forgot about the lobster bisque. That was full of lobster meat. It was nice and hot, nice flavor, $4. That was worth it. Then they also have lobster bites on the menu. They didn't have them because they're leaving the menu. So they ran out and they're not getting any more in. Man, I wish we could have got this six weeks ago when they had everything. But it was a great visit here on our way down on our trip. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the, the building. building. Which is better for shrimp values, Captain D's or the other guys? Well, the other guys offer you very little shrimp for your money. But at Captain D's, for $3.99, you can enjoy a dinner with three types of shrimp. Lightly battered shrimp, hand-breaded shrimp, and bite-sized shrimp. Plus fries, slaw, and hush puppies for only $3.99. The new shrimp trio dinner. A shrimp value the other guys can't touch. At Captain D's, the great little seafood place.